Hi friends, I'm Liz Holtzman and you're listening to the Simplified Podcast. If you're looking for a quiet place where you can filter out the noise and the hustle, this is it. Every week we invite you to slow down and join us to explore practical ways to organize and automate the complicated parts of life so you can focus on what truly matters most. We're talking all things fall, y'all, and if you are looking for the coziest way to express your simplified love, then let me introduce you to our brand new Pineapple Navy crew neck. I, no joke, have it on right now. It is the softest sweatshirt ever, and actually it's cute and like elegant enough to pair with a cute pair of pants, jeans, some earrings, call it a simplified fall outfit. You can order your Pineapple Navy crew neck right now over at emilylay.com. Are fall clothes the best clothes? I am absolutely inclined to say yes. Give me all the sweaters, give me all the jackets, give me all the fall colors and silhouettes and accessories. I am here for them. And so is Laura. That's why we are talking today about our very favorite fall wardrobe staples and even some new trends that we're loving and maybe not super loving. This is the time when I give a very huge caveat and say I am not a fashion influencer. I was absolutely shocked when you guys came back and told Laura and me that you loved our Easy Breezy Summer Looks episode from a few months ago. We had so many of you DMing us on Instagram saying how much you loved it, and we had a blast recording it. So we thought, why not make this like a thing? So here we are, ready to talk about the best time to wear clothes, aka cozy fall. So without further ado, these are the wardrobe staples Laura and I are loving for fall. Hi, Laura. Hello. I know I say it every time, but these really are my favorite podcasts to record is when you and I just get to chat. It's so fun. Agreed. And you guys loved, and I feel like I'm an influencer right now saying like, everybody's asking me for the link when nobody's really asking for the link, but you guys loved the summer wardrobe episode we did a couple months ago, like loved it. We had people reaching out, DMing us me and Laura on Instagram, and Simplified, Lindsay. and yes. Lindsay. Yeah. So we were like, well, let's like make this a thing. So we are going to make this a thing. So welcome to the fall edition of what we're wearing for fall. Ooh. Now, again, the clear disclaimer that we are absolutely not necessarily who should be giving fashion <laughs> advice. <laughs> Which is maybe why this was successful the first time. Yeah, like we are figuring it all out, like all of you. So I think maybe you're right, Laura. I think that's why people love it so much. So are you ready to chat what we're wearing for fall? Let's do it. I'm very curious. Another disclaimer. We both live in the Midwest. Mm, so yeah. just if you are like dying of heat listening to the things that we wear, just know that we live somewhere where it gets down to the 40s in like October. But honestly, we're not there yet. No. So I have a hard time even placing myself in yeah. these clothes yet. Yeah. yeah, me too. I know. We're getting there though. We're close. We're on the cusp. So we're transitioning from summer. We're in that like the fake fall right now. Yes. That's mm -hmm. what's The fourth summer. Uh huh. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before we like really dive in, let's recap what our personal style is. So if you had to like describe your personal fashion when it comes specifically to fall, or I guess just in general, what would they be? Okay, I think my three words would be neutral, comfy, mm -hmm. and classic. Mm. Which like kind of describes my home too. It's I was so gonna say that's just kind of like you. Yeah. Which makes sense. Right. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Easy. I need easy. Yeah. Okay. What about what about you? I essentially the same. Like I am comfy, I am practical, and I am neutral. I feel like so much depends on your season of life, no pun intended. <laughs> but I normally am very much like a get ready for the day kind of person. Like throughout my life, maybe not jeans every day, but like I'm going to get dressed every day. I like getting dressed. I like, especially on work days, like feeling put together for the day. I feel like I just work better that way. Yep. But with an eight-month-old, that just is not 
super realistic most days when I work from home. So I am really like all about comfy right now and practical is like, that is the word. Same. I also just feel like my best, truest self in fall style. And I know we did like a whole other fall episode and I totally understand and have come to terms with the fact that I am basic and I understand that. It's fine. But I really do feel like my best self in fall. The sweaters and the leggings, like I just feel like that is where I am most comfortable. I so agree. Skin is covered? Like, is it just comfier clothing? I was going to say, this feels like we could probably do like a therapy deep dive in this. (laughs) Or is it like in the Midwest, the fall is so Mm. nostalgic? Yeah. It's probably all of it. A treasured season, truly, that it just feels so good to be in those clothing. I I mean, I don't know. It's probably a combination of all. mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So as we have already established, we are not even in the Midwest quite in like the thick of fall yet. We are very much in that transition from summer. So fall weather in everywhere is just kind of weird. In some places, it's still so hot. Other places, it's like starting to get crispy or you're like us and it's like both. It starts one way in the morning and gets super hot by the afternoon and then cold again at night. So we're all just sort of on this like weird spectrum of weather and temperatures and you sort of have to be prepared for everything. So how do you do this transition? Are we layering? I'm a big layering person in these weird in-between seasons, but like how do you do this period, this fourth summer fake fall thing? Layers, layers, layers. Okay, so this past Sunday, perfect example. We were at a softball tournament all day. First game was at 8. Last game was at 3. Oh, boy. The temperature swing from when we were outside was legit 25 degrees. It was crazy. (laughs) So what I wore, I wore black joggers. Do you know that, I hope I'm not saying it right, the the Calia line by Carrie Underwood? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At Dick's Sporting Goods? Yeah. It's like a step underneath Lululemon prices. But it's still really, really high quality. They have some really cute stuff. Yes. I love everything in her line. Everything. So I wore black joggers. I wore like a tank top underneath. And then I wore a cropped crew neck that was also that same Calia line. And I was freezing. I almost wish I had a winter coat too. But then like I just had to take that crew neck off and I was in my tank top and I got some really good sun on my shoulders by the end of the day. But you could easily transition that to like a farmer's market vibe with jeans and a tank and then just bring a long sweater along with you and it comes off, it comes on. It can drape over your clutch or your handbag or anything like that if you need to carry it. Or just tie it around your waist. Yes. Are we above that? No. But like I do that all the time. Okay, example, we are going to the Notre Dame game this weekend, Mm -hmm. and it's going to be 80 degrees during the day while we're tailgating, but it's a nighttime game. So I'm just planning on wearing like my cropped Notre Dame sweatshirt around my waist all day long while we're tailgating, and then it's there when I need it for the night. See? Practical. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. I just love a really, really good tank for all of those reasons. Okay, also, Liz, I was by these things for like a year and now I'm obsessed. Don't you hate those things where you like talk so much crap about them and then they come back and you're like, dang it. Yes. I'm obsessed with bodysuits. Okay. I will sit here with you. I I continue. They look so good with like high rise jean shorts, high rise okay. jeans. Like, and then I love to pull, like you can wear them with joggers. Yes, they're annoying to snap, but some of the ones that I love the most, I don't even snap. I just tuck them in. I don't snap them underneath. Oh. And you can't even tell. That I could get down with. Yeah. It's not like a loose flowy tank. Like it's pretty slimming. Yeah. And I love throwing like a cardigan over it. I was it. just going to say a sweater over that would be really cute. And some gold jewelry. And like that's date night. I am loving the bodysuits. I can see it. I know. I know. Crazy. No, it's not crazy. I just need to, like, do it. (laughs) I need to be open-minded. That is really my look. A tank with a high-rise pant 
and a long cardigan. I could wear that. All the time. Yes, all the time. Yeah. I am in my, like, the cute athleisure phase right now because, truthfully, like, everything I wear either gets spit up on or pooped on or, like, I am changing outfits as much as I'm changing Bennett's outfits, truthfully. Yes. So I just need things that are, like, easy to wash, that are comfy so I can get down on the floor and, like, play with him. And that's just, like everything that's what I'm wearing these days. So, and it's also just so easy to layer, like add and subtract as you need to. So usually I am in Lulu leggings, Lulu lemon leggings. I yep. just have not found a pair I like as much. I have tried so many different brands of leggings. And if you have a good one, let me know. But I am like pretty loyal to my Lululemon leggings. I have like five pairs and I just can't move away from them. So I am also like you, Laura, all about like a workout tank or a t-shirt, like the cotton t-shirts from Madewell are awesome. And then I just toss on a jacket, especially if we have meetings like with other people that are not Team Simplified on Zoom. I don't know. I like having a jacket on the back of my chair that I can just toss on for when I feel like I need to look a little zhuzhed up. So either like, I don't know, like a green army jacket or just even a, a denim jacket because Again, on Zoom, you see from the waist up. Nobody knows I'm wearing leggings. <laughs> Speaking of jackets, I have the denim jacket that I really love is from Able. Do you know that brand? Yes, I, I love Able. Yeah. Yes, recommend that one for sure. Okay, so as far as colors, I know we talked, we're both kind of neutral people. So this might be a tricky question, but what is your fall color palette looking like? And how, if that has, how has it changed over the years? Okay, so I think maybe even in a previous episode, did we talk about how I'm trying to embrace brown? Yes, we did. We talked about brown eyeliner, yes. So honestly, this is just so basic and boring, but it's black, white, and cream, and now I'm adding brown. Mm -hmm. Like, that is because of it. everything goes together. Everything can match. I do have a gorgeous, like, forest green dress that if I were going to a fall wedding, I would love to wear that again. I love that color. I just find when I like try to commit a certain way, I am I have nothing else to wear with it. So I just like to walk into my closet and be like, boom, 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 outfit done. You really are good at like the, what's, what's the phrase I'm looking for? Capsule. Were you? Yes. You really are good at like the capsule wardrobe thing. I feel like you have the staples that you love, you rely on, and then you mix other things up with them, but you're really good at that. I need to be better at that. I feel like I'm tired of buying things and then returning them. <laughs> like, And we've talked about that. I think we talked about that in the summer episode too. Like just knowing what you like and what you feel comfortable in. I know what I like. I know what I like. And I, I know when I try to there's a million other areas of my life where I'm like taking risks and mm -hmm. enjoying new things and different cultures, food, for example. But like, I don't have time to spend yeah. even like 10 minutes in my closet. I need to grab something in 10 seconds. So I need to be easy. Yep. I love it. So we sort of already hit on this, but like the classics, that was one of the words that you mentioned as embodying your style. So let's talk about those timeless staples that just never go away. They never go out of style. What is always in your rotation year after year? And is there anything that you have invested like a solid good piece in? Okay. So boots. I love my Sorel ones. Do you know that brand? Sure do. Mine are like my winter snow boots. I don't think I have fall Sorel boots, but yes, they're more winter, but those have lasted me many, many years. I also have my hunter boots have lasted me many, many years. So a nice pair of boots, for sure. Mm -hmm. A cream sweater. You will wear a cream sweater for so many things. You can layer it under a vest. I just think that's such a staple for me for fall. Yep. I have one from J. Crew that I really, really love. A good pair of jeans. It might take <laughs> you, maybe we can dive into denim in a little bit. Yeah. It might take you forever to find it, but that is worth spending money. Finding a pair of jeans that you love that fits you that wash as well, et cetera. Yep. And then, so winter coats, I have to go like the Columbia North Face that route because it's just so cold here. I can't have a cute winter coat. No, no, um, no. But I can have some cute fall coats. And my friend who owns a boutique, I bought it in a cream and like a warm brown. It's a coat again. 
it's like a new word that's floating around. Oh, yes. 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 I'm so excited. It's so lightweight. It's like slightly quilted. So it's so beautiful. I can't wait to wear it. It's not quite cool enough yet, but I feel like investing in a nice yeah. fall coat yeah. that you can, again, it's a layering piece, but you could also throw like a chunky knit scarf over it and it feels like it's warm too. Yep. I am with you. I feel good about spending money on things like jeans and coats and boots. Like I will absolutely do that. I spent probably more money than I should have in that season of my life on a Kate Spade button down black coat jacket. And it is not your everyday coat. So you know, my today self maybe wouldn't have spent that much money, but I was shopping with my girlfriend and I was like, this coat is to die for. It has this beautiful, you know, like very Kate Spade bow. We've already talked about me and bows. Throw a bow on anything, I will buy it. This is case in point, but it's got this beautiful bow at the top with these big chunky black buttons all the way down. It's beautiful. And like I said, I spent, again, for that season of life, probably way too much money, but I wear it not all the time, but I still love pulling that out of my closet. Like for date night, I love putting that coat on. I feel so pretty in that coat. And it's things like those, like it's just a solid black and I feel so good in that coat. Things like that where they just, I know it's overused, but spark joy. Like that coat brings me so much joy when I pull it out, when I put it on. I need to see a picture of it. I'll try to find a picture. It was so long ago. I don't even know if I'll be able to find a link, but I will either link it or something similar. Don't judge me for the price, but it is just like one of my favorite pieces of clothing. It's so fun to put on. We just had another great launch week here at Simplified, but holy moly, I am wiped out. When I put that much energy into a big project, meal prep kind of falls by the wayside. So in busy seasons like this, I pull out my secret weapon, Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating clean with recipes that support your wellness goals without skimping on flavor. Green Chef helps you cut down on meal prep by sending you pre-portioned and prepped ingredients, including pre-measured sauces, spices, and dressings right to your door. During this busy fall season, you can check clean eating off your to-do list with Green Chef's new quick and easy recipes that are ready in 25 minutes or less. That is exactly the kind of easy I need in my life right now. The other day, I made Italian shrimp and creamy rice, and it was so good, and it only took 15 minutes to make. I kid you not. And you know what else came together really quickly? The spicy Southwest turkey soup. That is absolutely going in my soup rotation as the weather gets cooler. So this busy fall season, make eating clean easy on yourself. Go to greenchef.com slash 60 simplified and use code 60 simplified to get 60% off plus free shipping. One more time, go to greenchef.com slash 60 simplified and use code 60 simplified to get 60% off plus free shipping. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating clean. What if your kid isn't quite old enough for a phone, but you still want a way to get a hold of each other? I think I've got just the thing for you. The Junior Track 2 smartwatch for kids. The Junior Track 2 is an all-in-one phone, watch, and GPS tracker for kids that's right on their wrist. With this smartwatch, kids have a real phone for calling, plus amazing safety features that are perfectly built for kids ages 5 to 12. The Junior Track 2 is a fully functional phone, but it's engineered to allow calls or messages from contacts that only you add. Plus, it pairs to an app on your phone so you can manage parental controls, receive alerts, and even check your kid's GPS location. Listen, this kind of safety is completely priceless. Emily's been raving about the Junior Track 2 since she got them for Caroline and Tyler, and I have already got one waiting for Bennett to use because I am that mom and I am prepared. So as your kids head out the door, give yourself some peace of mind with the Junior Track 2 smartwatch for kids. Visit CosmoTogether.com and enter code SIMPLIFIED at checkout for 30% off a new Junior Track watch. One more time, go to CosmoTogether.com and enter code SIMPLIFIED at checkout for 30% off. If you live anywhere outside of the South, welcome to fall. If you live in the South, welcome to the next few weeks of summer. That means anytime I go outside to walk Walter, I'm going to sweat. And when I get home, I immediately want to take off my sweaty bra and air out. That's the facts, kids. But at least Honey Love makes wearing a bra during these last warm days a bit more bearable. 
guys, Honey Love bras are going to be your new favorites. They are so comfortable, you'll forget you're even wearing them. Liz and Laura just told me to get Honey Love's V bra, and I love it. It's a relaxed bra that's perfect for lounging around. There's no underwire, which is wonderful, but it still lifts and separates with molded cups. It is the best of all the worlds, but it doesn't stop there. Honey Love has more than just bras. They have incredibly comfortable leggings, tanks, and sleepwear to get you through the rest of the season. So treat yourself to the best bras on the market. You can get 20% off your entire order at honeylove.com slash simplified. That's 20% off your whole order at honeylove.com slash simplified. Make sure you use our exclusive link so they'll know that we sent you. Okay, so let's talk about new stuff that we're seeing for fall. It could be like your girls are talking about things that they're seeing on their classmates in school or like things that we're seeing on social. What are the seasonal trends that we're either loving or not loving? Oh my gosh. Okay, the stuff that's coming back is legit what we wore in I know it. Your high in high school. I know. What is happening? This is the first time this has happened to me. Like where the things that we used to wear, because I'm 30, so it's the first time that like they're coming back. Yes. And I know I'm not old, but like it is really adding some gray hairs to my head. It is shaking me up a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> And truly, like, it's even some of the 90s stuff, too. So what I'm choosing to do is really, like, embrace the stuff that I love that feels nostalgic to me and kind of leave the rest on the rack. Where it was. Yes. Where it was. Back in high school. Yeah. So I am very into this, like, sweatsuit era, like, vintage tees, like, Amber Crombie just came out with all of the NFL teams, like their vintage logos and like how fun I haven't seen those crew necks and t shirts. Like, it's really, really cute. That's so fun. And when you have daughters who are sporty, that's very convenient that Amber Crombie is selling that stuff. Yeah. But like my girls wanted like the vintage Nike shoes for school and like oh they look gosh. so cute and yeah. it's very nostalgic. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. But for me, I am into this matching set as a sweatsuit. Mm. Whatever. Are we calling them sweatsuits? I don't know. I don't know what the cool thing, I don't know what we're calling them. For someone who works from home for eight hours of the day and then is off to a practice, like shipping kids off here and there, that just fits my season of life so, so well. Again, it's the cute, but also comfy. Like I want something that's both. Yes. I just do. Speaking of that, Emily shared her like Amazon sweater comfy set. Again, I don't know what we're calling them. The other day on Instagram, and I am obsessed. I just ordered one. We'll have to link that too. But it is so cute. It's just a matching set. It's just like so cute. My sister-in-law was over for dinner the other night, and she walked in with the cutest pair of jeans and pink Birkenstock clogs, like the clogs that I used to wear in high school. They're back. They are back. And I I might have to get a pair. They looked so cute. I want them to go on my Christmas list. Yeah. They looked so cute on her. I love that is something that has come back that I really am here for. Something that has come back that I am not here for so much is the and I don't know if this is just like a where I am thing, but like all of the young boys that I see in our neighborhood, like everywhere are wearing socks and crocs. Yes. Do, are you seeing that? Like, are your oh, girls yes. wearing? Okay. My, no, not my uh, girls. Okay. But okay. Boys. In, yes. yes. It's like David and I have like almost made a game of it now because it's like literally every kid, every boy we pass is wearing socks and Crocs, like knee high, crew length socks with Crocs. It's a riot, and Crocs are back, baby. Crocs uh, back. are back. I I don't know. I don't think I ever loved Crocs to begin with, but I certainly don't love them now. No. And now there's they make these things you can like bedazzle oh, the and clip custom- on. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Just like as if they couldn't be any uglier. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Listen, if you are here or if you love Crocs, I love that for I you. I love that I for you. Here. Honestly, they're comfy as all get out. And yes. I I just think we can all agree that just like Uggs, they're not the cutest pair of shoes you've ever seen in your life correct (laughs) but they are back they are back 
So there is absolutely a reason that fall is called sweater weather. We've talked a little bit about sweaters. Sweater weather. Sweater weather. (laughs) But are you specifically a crew neck girl or a V-neck? And I know the ever ongoing debate, but are we into like a good turtleneck or a cardigan and how are we styling them? Give me your sweater thoughts. I'm like all sweaters are like all equal. I love them all. I like that. I think I've always been a V-neck girl, but if you show me a really cute crew neck, I will definitely try it. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. The main thing with sweaters is I don't want to be too hot. Yes. Is that the same for you? Yes. I want them to be lightweight enough yep. that I'm cool, but I want them to feel like I'm wearing a cute sweater too. I don't want it to be like paper thin. And for me, it's even more so about material because I think it can be like a heavier sweater and still be comfy and not feel like you're suffocating. But for me, it's the material. Like, if it's really thick and itchy, like, I'm not going to wear it. It's not going to last me the full day. I used to be crew neck exclusively, but I have started incorporating more V-necks. I guess sweaters and shirts and all the things. If you don't know this about me, I'm a little bit bigger chested. And I've always, like, it is the number one thing I am most self-conscious about on my body Mm. for a lot of reasons. So I used to do crew neck, like, only thinking – well, let's just cover them up and like, you know, but the older I've gotten, first of all, the older you get, the less not appropriate it is to like show a little cleavage Yes. <laughs> as an adult woman, you know, but I also feel like sometimes that just does the opposite. Like it emphasizes them when I don't necessarily want to do that. And I feel like a light V-neck is honestly sometimes more flattering on me. Yes. So I have very much started to break away and break out of that box that I have put myself in. But I also love a turtleneck. I guess not like a super tight turtleneck, but like a cowl neck sweater is like probably my all-time favorite sweater. I just, I think they're very flattering on me. I think they're just like a little extra something. It's cute. And they're also just practical when it's really cold out. So true. Okay. I've always thought turtlenecks made me a little bit claustrophobic. Like I have to wear my hair up when I'm wearing a turtleneck. I get that. But I fell for like a trendy black and white striped sweater with a cowl neck that all the influencers, I feel like have been sharing this Amazon sweater. I know exactly which one you're talking about. I got it and I love it. Do you? Okay. It has legitimately been in my cart for like three weeks now and I just haven't. I really love it. And I think I will like it with like black leggings. Yes. Like it's more of a that kind of a look. Yep. But I'm for styling wise, I love like a front tuck into a pair of jeans look with sweaters too. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's flattering on me. I love like a higher waisted jean and the front tuck just, it's like the proportionally, it's not cutting my body in half. It's it's like the rule of thirds. Totally. If you know that rule in like a photo and like design. Yep. That's what it does for my body. And I feel like it's flattering. So. I do love that look. Mm -hmm. I love it. Live. Okay. One thing we have not talked about yet really is pants. Hard pants, soft pants, all of the pants. What are you like? What are your go tos for fall? Oh my gosh. Before we start that, can you share that text that your friend sent you when you guys were going <laughs> to? Because I just love I think it that's so, so much. Funny. Okay. So we were going over to my friend Caroline. Hi, Caroline. She and her husband were having us over. We were making pizzas and she texted me a couple hours before we were going to meet up and she said, My team and I, like her work team, my team and I have this rule where like we've got like a long day of meetings. Nobody can wear anything that has buttons on it. And I feel like that's the vibe for tonight. And I screenshotted that and I sent it to Team Simplified, obviously. Like this is, we're adapting this. Like we are 100%. This is our rule now. (laughs) I love it so much. Soft pants. Soft pants. Soft pants so Some days, like, buttons are outlawed. Like, no buttons. Just not not the vibe for today. Just not the vibe. Not the vibe. <laughs> oh, okay. We just have to start talking about denim, I feel like. Why? Oh, okay. Ugh, why is I, denim so hard? So hard. It's so, so hard. I have found that I... Old Navy is a good place to go. Old Navy or Loft, for Mm -hmm. me, is a good place to go to try some of these newer styles on. Yes. I want to 
try like I have a wide leg pant from mm-hmm. Old Navy. Yeah. Uh, jean that I, from Old Navy that I like. It just feels like so much fabric. I just yeah. feel like I, I love know. my Madewell skinny jeans so I, much. Skinny jeans <laughs> for life. I just like, oh, and I cringe I saying that. But like I, it's not that I am not open to non-skinny jeans. I just don't like how they look on me. I do have one pair of like a slight flare from Loft, no shocker. They were like my first after baby jean I bought because I just wasn't, I was like, you know, the mental anguish of like trying to fit back into your jeans before pregnancy. And it's like, why am I doing this to myself? This Mm. is just not fair. (laughs) It's not fun and it's not fair. So those are the first jeans I bought and I really do love them. So those are in my rotation. And then I also have a couple pair from Abercrombie. They're definitely more skinny jeans, but they're you know, tattered at the bottom that I really love, that I actually ended up buying the maternity version of them (laughs) because I loved them so much and I wanted to keep wearing them while I was pregnant. So those are like my two brands that I really have been loving for denim. I feel like it's a hunt. Like you you need to hunt. You got to put in the work. Anguish, yeah. Yes. And then when you find the perfect gene you are just so loyal and you like yeah. well i feel like if anyone else feels like jeans are hard right now you're not alone no and it's okay if you're still wearing your skinny jeans it is uh, it's totally okay i'm still wearing skinny jeans not that i'm by any means the pillar of fashion <laughs> of all knowledge <laughs> but no i just like i don't know i really I say it a lot, but like wear what you feel good in because you will look so much cuter and more confident if you're wearing something you feel cute in versus trying to wear, you know, whatever other people are saying is cool and cute because you're just not going to feel like yourself. And it's just, just wear what you feel good in, wear what makes you feel good. Yes. And if you are in a season of life where you do want to try some new things, find influencers who look like you. Oh, that is such, we need to talk about that. I mean, that was a huge game changer for me was starting to follow girls who looked like me Yeah, and being like, okay, so that's how a wide leg flare looks on someone who's built like me. And that's how that looks like. That was big for me. And also like, look how cute it looks on them and not on someone the size of my pinky toe, because that's just not what my body looks like. And I love that. And you set yourself up for failure if your feed just looks like you know, just doesn't look like if you don't see any of yourself in the people that you follow online, it just, that is a a hard. And not a fun place to spend time. No, it's not a fun place to walk into and to like try to take on. No, I think that is such a good point, Laura. And also that don't make you feel like you need to be spending hundreds of dollars every week on clothes. Like, yeah, for me, it really, really helps. Like, okay, in these next three months, this is what our family is going to be doing. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to need this type of outfit. There's no weddings for the next three months. I don't need to go buy a new dress that I would wear to a wedding. Yeah. Like, it seems so simple. But when we're being told by all of these people constantly, oh, look at this new thing I got. Look at my Amazon haul. That's 50 things. It's so easy to think I must, I need that. I need that. I need that. All of those things. Yes. Yeah. But that you physically don't have anywhere to wear that dress to this season. (laughs) You don't need it. (laughs) Oh, I need to listen to that advice more. Your wallet will thank you. Your future self will thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's go to shoes. Mm. Candidly, I am really struggling with shoes for all of the seasons right now. I am just really struggling. Are we still doing like the knee high boots? Are we still doing booties? <sighs> like, are we wearing flats? What are we wearing? For fall. I mean, I'm sure some people are, but they're probably fancier than me. <laughs> I, okay, honestly, for my season of life, I'm in tennis shoes every day. Yeah. So, yeah, same. Like, I just like treated myself to a new pair of surprise, surprise, cream, white, and black. They're the new balance, like the 327 shoe. I don't know if you've seen it. I have seen those. Oh, my God. They're so cute. And when I'm wearing them, I feel like I'm wearing something cute and not just like a worn out Nike. So I am kind of investing more in my wardrobe to focus on sneakers because honestly, every single day I'm in them. Yeah. 
I wear my Rothy's a lot in oh. the fall, which actually reminds me that I should probably get a new pair because I kind of wore the bejeezies out of my last pair. But they're cream. They're like the, I don't know what, I can't remember the style name. We'll link them. But they're just like the slip on, the flat. They're like very casual looking, but they're a little bit more. But you could wear them on a date. Yeah, absolutely. And I do all of the time. But I wear my Rothy's all the time in the fall and in the winter like if it's not freezing and snowing right i will wear them they work yeah yep i love that i love rothy's i forgot about them and you can throw them in the wash yes which i have done multiple times and they actually come out pretty decent looking because i feel like some of the shoes that say you can throw them in the wash like come out and they look you can (laughs) tell same like like either yeah like they look like nothing happened or they look completely warped and (laughs) <laughs> your shoes are destroyed. My Rothy's hold up really well in the wash. I love that. So fall is also the best because we can really start to get like back into the accessories game again a mm. little bit, like scarves and hats and gloves and jewelry. Yes. So what are what are your go-tos when you're adding a little extra mm. sparkle? Okay, so that kind of brings me back to like the early, what do we call the the 2010s? Yeah. Do you remember when we used to wear like those infinity scarves and like yeah. you all like scarves oh. were, scarves had like, a major m- moment moment yes. like fifteen years ago yeah. yes yeah my college days like, yes yeah the knee yes. high like riding yep. boots with like the and plaid a scarf big, yeah yeah fluffy yes. oh yes. man I personally do not play that scarf game anymore really I feel like my like belt bag has taken that like chest Hmm. you know like yeah i accessorize with like a bag now yeah is is that interesting and it was like i just that just kind of occurred to me like a scarf would kind of get in the way that is i never thought about that and also like as a mom who's moving in a million different directions like you it's not very practical no no and also like i just i need a bag with my stuff i need my bag on me yeah yes yeah so scarves no i'm not usually wearing a scarf but hats and gloves, I mm-hmm. feel like when I have my giant black North Face coat on, my hats and gloves are like where I can have some fun or have like cream and like a knit hat. Or yep. I love that CC brand. I don't know what it's called. All I know that it has oh, TCs yeah. on it. Yep, yep. I feel like that's really high quality and they even make ones that like your ponytail can go through. So for my girls, those are helpful. Yeah. And they make good like earbands too. I, I just feel like that's where we can have fun with accessorizing. Yeah, colors. I have a really pretty like ruby red knit hat that I love, especially at like Christmas time. Oh my gosh. I bet that looks so good with your hair. It's really, I think so, but I love that I hat. I mean, I think so. <laughs> I, I think so. I think it looks pretty cute, but I love that And hat. jewelry, like surprise, surprise <sighs> jewelry. I am just a yeah, simple I, yeah, girl. Yeah. I like my simple gold jewelry. Yep. I feel like I have more fun, honestly, in the summer with jewelry. Like, I love a big, fun earring in, in the summer and in the spring. But, like, I don't know. In the fall and winter, I'm putting a hat on, like, almost every day. So I don't do yes. – I really don't do earrings. I do love my gold staples, my jewelry, my bracelets. But those I feel like – like, yeah, like you just said, I wear the same pieces every day. I don't really get fun there, but I am still a scarf girl. There's something very like effortlessly chic to me about just a scarf wrapped around your neck, like not even looped, just like draped over your neck with an open jacket, open coat. Like I think that look is so just classy. Pretty. So classic. Well, this was really fun. No shock. I wish the weather would cooperate so I can start wearing all these things. I know. You know, honestly, next week here is going to be cooling off. It's rainy here today. So I think this is kind of the perfect day for me to get in this vibe. So before we go, rapid fire, obviously, we have to. Are you ready for it? Oh, can't wait. Yes. Okay. What is your number one favorite fall wardrobe staple? Oh, okay. It's got to be my new Codigans that I got from my friend's boutique. For sure. Love it. What is your favorite store for fall clothes? Madewell. Madewell just screams fall to me. Like, they're synonymous, I think, to me. Mm -hmm. Who is your fall style icon? This can be real person or a fictional person. Oh, 
Okay, so like a movie character is coming to mind. Like, why does Meg Ryan and all of her oh, movies? Oh, because obvious that yes, yes, and Julia Roberts. She's in something where she's got like a plaid coat. I love a moment of plaid. That is something that I will accessorize with. Is yeah something plaid. I feel yeah. like it's so fall. It's yeah. so classic. It's got that university vibe that I love. Is that maybe like an Easter egg for next year's collection? Mm-hmm. I don't know. What is a fall clothing item that you've bought yourself or your girls this year that you love? Oh, okay. This is kind of silly, but maybe not. We just bought Halloween pajamas. Oh, that is not silly. That's so fun. My children will go off to college and be married and have like their own families, and I will still get everyone matching. Yeah, my mom buys us Christmas jammies. I I love it so much. But And I usually only do Christmas, but these ghost pajamas Mm -hmm. at Target were calling my name. They're black and white. Yes. They're so cute. Lindsay just sent me the other day some jammies for Bennett. Well, she sent me the links to some jammies for Bennett from Old Navy. One for Halloween that's got like ghosts and pumpkins on it. And then the other one is for Thanksgiving and it's got these cute little turkeys. They're so cute. And I bought them both. They have been washed and they are ready for wear. So it's the season of pajamas. It's It's just it's the season of movies and yeah popcorn and snacks on the floor and like good pajamas i love so it. fun so fun well thanks for being here you guys laura thanks for chatting with me so fun as always if you guys loved this or if you love any of our episodes it is so much fun when we hear feedback from you guys about things that you love things you want to hear from us it is so much fun to chat with you guys i don't know i love when someone sends me a direct message on instagram talking about the podcast. It is so much fun to talk with you guys. So if you loved this, if you have thoughts on anything you want to hear from us, reach out. We'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, Laura, it has been so fun chatting. Go get a cup of coffee Mm. and we'll talk next time. See you, Liz. Bye. All right, friends, let me say a blessing over you as you get ready to get back to your day. I hope this fall season is filled with the most wonderful things. I hope you feel the cool, crisp breeze on your cheeks as you go apple picking or watch a football game or go on a hike in the woods. I hope you have everything you need to enjoy the season ahead and remember to take time to get lost in it a little bit. So enjoy the fiery trees and warm cinnamon scents and the sound of leaves crunching under your feet. Just Take a minute to soak all of it in and may the joy of the season restore your soul. This is the part of the episode where we usually give you a little tip you can tuck in your pocket and take with you. So here's what I've got for you today. Have you discovered the magic of a coat hook by the door? If you get tired of seeing coats and jackets tossed around like me, then let me tell you, just buy some coat hooks or a mounted coat rack that you can just put by the front door. If you don't feel like putting something on your walls, that's okay. You can also get a standing coat rack that will work just as well. Sometimes all it takes truly is just designating a place for your things to go, and you'll be surprised how they will just sort of magically find themselves there and off your tables and your floors and everywhere else. The coats just don't really belong. Hey, thanks for listening to the Simplified Podcast. You can find show notes for this episode over at emilylay.com for more info on links and resources I mentioned here. And you can shop the entire collection of Simplified planners and products, including our brand new fall collection. You can also follow me on Instagram at Liz M. Holtzman and on Substack at lizholtzman.substack.com where you can follow more of my motherhood journey. You can also follow our brand at Simplified for tons of simplicity tips and inspiration to get you through your days. Thanks for being here, you guys. If you want conversations like this every week, click the follow button on our show wherever you listen to podcasts. Well, that is all I've got for you today. Be sure to tune in next week for more Simplified goodness. Until next time, I hope you have a great day.